Helios 44 is a lens from Soviet, which is a copy of the Zeiss Biota, a very fast lens at the time it was released by the prestigious German camera and lens maker. Nowadays, Helios is sought after because of its unique character, the beautiful dreamy bokeh, and because of its plentifulness. It's really cheap and it works really well when adapted to mirrorless camera. But many people think that most Helios have a defect from the factory, which is the aperture ring that comes with reverse number order. Let's say, if you set the aperture value at f2, what you actually get is f16 and vice versa. That's what people think. And because Soviet factories have been known for their notorious quality control, people seem to believe in that narrative. But it's not the case here. Helios 44 was built for the earlier M42 cameras that don't have the auto diaphragm system. Let's have a look at this Pentax SV, the last S series without a built in light meter. But it's a more modern M42 compared to the cameras that Helios was designed for because this one has the auto diaphragm system. First of all, for those who never use SLR cameras, the SLR stands for single lens reflex which means the image you see in the viewfinder is the reflection of the light that comes through the lens and is reflected by the mirror behind the lens then goes to the prism on the top and comes out through the viewfinder. This process of light traveling makes it lose its brightness. And if you use a smaller aperture, you will lose the light even more. The image you see in the viewfinder will be very dark and it's gonna be tough to find the correct focus. To overcome this problem, the auto diaphragm in Pentax lens was designed by making its aperture blades to stay wide open all the time, whatever aperture you have selected. So you can see the bright full aperture image from the viewfinder, but when you fire the shutter, the mechanism in the camera will hit the pin on the rear of the lens, and the aperture blade will move to the selected aperture value. But if you set the preview lever to manual, the aperture blade will move as you turn the aperture ring. The Helios doesn't have that kind of system. Instead, you have to do it all manually to get the same effect. But it also has some help for you. And this is how it works. First, you select the aperture from the preset ring at the front, let's say F16. Then you turn the second ring to the furthest left so the red dot on the ring will match with the aperture number that you selected. At this point, the aperture blades are still wide open. It's time for you to find focus. When you get the right focus, then you turn the second ring to the right and you get the selected aperture value that you set before. With this design, you will get the brightest image in the viewfinder while finding the focus and then get the right aperture without moving your camera off your sight. So, it's not a defect. It's just how it works with the cameras without the auto diaphragm system. I have seen so many people try to make their lens behave the opposite, and it's fine if they're gonna use them with digital cameras. But if you plan to use it with a film camera, I would advise you to leave it as it is.